Let me tell you all right now, ladies and gentlemen, that this build is going to be insane. Now, I know some people probably use this build, but they don't use it to its full potential as I'm about to show you. Usually that this build was made back in like 2K20 and 2K21, you didn't really see it a lot in 2K21. But I remember back in 2K20 when this was pretty much a well-known build because it was somewhat easy to make. Now, I'm not saying that it's, you know, hard to make in this game, but it is very, very specific in order to make some of these builds this year. As you guys have probably seen from a couple of my other builds, it's very specific when it comes to the stat lines that you have to make. And also there is a couple builds that we'll be making videos for uh, here soon where you guys will see that there is a lot of stats and attributes that are very specific where you can't go too high on them and then you can't go too low on them and you have to keep it at a specific spot in order to get the most out of it but also make sure that you're not being called something different but without further ado i'm going to be showing you guys the multi-position defender that i have and this is one of my original builds which means that it is a build that i made by myself is when air just went ham tried to make something and i did not use a template most of the time i use templates for builds like player builds and so on and so forth or like builds from other players that i think are cool that are like unique and stuff and then i just use their template and then i change it up to see if i can get the same build name while making it how i would make it so go ahead go to the comment section down below go to the pin comment that will be a google doc link that will take you literally to the google doc where i have pretty much all these builds and it has a lot of player builds that i have not recorded videos for so go ahead and check those builds out i might make videos of them in the future who knows but all my other builds that i have made that are original builds whether i have made videos on them or not they will also be in the google doc so without further ado let's get into the build guys we have the small forward multi-position defender we're going six foot eight and then the seven foot two wingspan those are the main two stats that we are focused on now the weight is the main thing that we're also going to focus on right now because it's like we only made him six foot eight to be able to get the interior defense the rebounding the block rating but of course it's like the block rating doesn't really matter too much but the only reason why we have increased the wingspan is for the sake of our rebound ability now i want this build to be able to play the two through four so if you are running like a tall lineup you can play the two in the shooting guard position if you're running two small forwards or maybe you can run the four if you're running more of like a small ball kind of lineup with a six foot eight small forward and like a six foot nine center. So that would actually be pretty damn cool. But we have the six foot eight small forward here. I would like to get the 75 ball handling, but or not the 75 ball handling, the 75 speed with ball. But it's going to be very, very hard because as you can see, we would have to go back down and then we would even have to minimize our weight by at least one point. But as you can see, we don't really get our interior defense up there. We still have a pretty decent defensive rebound just because of the wingspan. But it's just that the uh, the interior defense is just not there. So the only reason why we don't focus on this is just because of interior defense. Interior defense we actually like to have. So we just increase this some bitch until we can get to a 92 defensive rebound. Which in order to get the the 92 defensive rebound we can go to 230 229 either one works i just go with 230 because it's even and it's not like the other stats that it affects like strength and driving a lamp it's not like it's affecting that too much to where we can't do what we're focusing on so i go with six foot eight 237 foot two uh wingspan and this is how the attributes are going to look like so for finishing we got a close shot of an 80 the driving layup goes to an 82 and then our driving dunk goes to an 85 giving us a pretty decent finishing ability with 20 finishing badges it's not the most impressive finishing ability out there but of course we are able to do a lot with this so we're still able to be efficient from inside. We're still able to drive and get dunks and stuff. Um, 
that's really good enough, but it's not like we're mainly focusing on that. So that's the only thing that we're doing for finishing. You know, a lot of people like doing the standing dunk and post control to get some more badges, but standing dunk really no point because it doesn't really add any badges until you get into the 50s, uh, which really takes up a lot of your attributes and such once you get down here, um, which you guys will see the reason why in another video of mine. Uh, why I don't really focus on standing dunk or post control unless I'm a big man um, But yeah, so mid-range we're gonna go with a solid 82 because if you go anything higher than an 82 then you're sort of uh, screwed when it comes to the name Obviously the three-pointer goes to an 82 as well Because if you like if you were to make it where it has a seven foot one wingspan You can get an 83 three-pointer but if you get the 83 three-pointer, then you're going to be called something else. At least when I was first making this build, the first version of this build that I made with the 83 three-pointer, I was called a shooter. So keep that in mind. You don't want that happening where you're called a shooter when you're trying to be multi-position defender. This is pretty much the best multi-position defender, not the best shooter. Keep that in mind. So 82, 82, 75 is what we have for shooting. We have 25 shooting badges. Now we go to playmaking here. Playmaking is very, very specific where we go to the 76 pass accuracy. 76 pass accuracy seems to be a go-to for a lot of build names because if you go anything really higher than like a 76, 77, once you get into the 78 plus realm, that's when you start becoming like a pass first kind of player or a playmaking type of player. And it's, uh, it's very, very weird um, in my opinion. Um, but that's just how it is. So then we're going to be maxing out ball handling and speed with ball, obviously with the 80 ball handling, 70 speed with ball. And, uh, like I said before, um, I would like to get the 75 speed with ball to be able to get the quick, uh, dribble style and everything. But of course, uh, it's kind of hard to do that. We still get the 80 ball handling though, which is great. So we can do a little bit of dribble moves if we have to, um, but don't really feel like it's going to be necessary and I don't really think they're going to be thinking of us as a multi-position defender that's able to shoot the three ball able to drive and be able to get pro dribble moves that so I think we are doing the right thing by doing this because they just will not expect us to be able to dribble as much as we are able to so defensive stats this is where everything comes together for our build where most of our attributes are being thrown into. As you can see, we're only a 74 overall with everything else. But with this, we have the 80 interior defense, as I have mentioned earlier. Then perimeter defense. We usually skyrocket this to an 83. I don't, I don't change it to an 84. Just an 83 is good. Same with the steal rating. 83, 83 there. Then we go for the 81 block rating on this. And the only reason why we only go for the 81 is just for the sake of that gold intimidator. Don't really feel like we need anything else. But the gold intimidator is pretty good. So that's the only reason why we do that other than just not wasting badges. The 92 defensive rebound with an offensive rebound of an 86 is what we go for here. And then we just pretty much max out our speed and our acceleration and then we bring our strength to a 62 obviously we get the 85 vertical and then that gives us the 85 stamina so with that being said this is how you build that and then you'll be able to get shot creator takeover sharpshooter takeover lockdown takeover and glass clint takeover which is pretty dang cool so for me obviously perimeter backdrop probably and then enhanced jump shot contest maybe um, or maybe double perimeter badge drop, who knows, whatever you guys want to run. I'm just doing this because why not? Because I think it'll be cool. But, um, anyway, we complete the build guys. It's called a multi-position defender and it has shades of Sean Marion, Michael Bridges, Jalen Brown. I kind of see this as more of Sean Marion out of everybody here. I definitely do like the Sean Marion comparison, but, um, yeah, let me know you guys think in the comment section below of this build guys because i think this has a lot of potential let me know if you guys can come up with a way to make this a little bit better by keeping some of the defensive stats maybe you guys find a way to get um good defensive stats like this while also getting like a higher uh, speed with ball maybe um 
who knows but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below make sure you leave a like comment your feedback in the comment section below as always and if you're new to the channel hit that hit that subscribe if i can speak for a minute because i'm at the end of the video and it waits for me to be able to finish um the screw me over so anyway thank you guys so much for stopping by i'll talk to you all in the next one later everybody